You might have participated in our 12 and 2040 community survey over the summer, so here's a quick recap of the results. The survey was conducted in late July to early August. We had 232 total responses, 159 of those online, and 73 in person. What did we hear? So over the next few questions, I'm going to break it down into three categories. Total responses, people of color, and households 50,000 and below. One in three of Tualatin's house, households are considered cost burdened, meaning they spend more than 30% of their budget on housing. What should the city of Tualatin do to meet this need? Our top responses were to offer incentives for affordable housing, allow more types of homes, and to reduce costs by easier access to jobs and services. For people of color, top responses were allowing more types of homes and obtaining land for new housing. And for those making 50,000 and below, offer incentives for affordable housing and require rent control or offer financial support. In Tualatin, open land is very limited. So how can the city provide more housing choices? Top responses were townhomes, cottage courtyard, and small homes. For people of color, the top was business and home and small homes. And for 50,000 and below, it was cottage courtyards and also small homes. Outside of housing, what else should be the city of Tualatin's planning priority? Top options were improving connectivity, increasing and protecting green spaces, and to increase options for jobs and entertainment. For people of color, the top options were improving connectivity and increasing options for jobs and entertainment. And for those making 50,000 and below, increasing and protecting green spaces and also increasing options for jobs and entertainment. For the complete results and for our next steps in the process, please go to twalton2040.com.